Hello fellow survivors, this is your buddy RV Guy back again with another little quick video review. And today guys, I have something that was sent to me by um, a subscriber. The su subscriber goes by the name of John L. He's been a long time subscriber. He always comments and gets involved with the channel. And um, I really appreciate this. Thank you, John. Okay, now what John sent us was an outdoor rescue card. Alright, uh, well, I've never seen this before. Um, I'm not sure he's got it from. I'm going to check on Amazon to see if they have it. If they do, and you guys are interested, I'll send the link in the description. Okay? So let's open it up and check it out. Alright. When you open it up, it has, uh, I guess, the little directions here, a little pamphlet. Outdoors Tool Multifunction Rescue Card. All right. Oh, okay. It's one of these little multi-tool things. Now, these things are cool. I like these things. Um, because you know what? They have a lot of different little tools in them. There's a knife, a fire starter, a whistle, tweezers, a bottle opener, a magnifying glass, a compass. Yeah, a lot of stuff in here. And sometimes, guys... You might not need a great big bag. You know, you might not have a great big survival bag. But something small like this could fit in your pocket. And it might just save your butt. You never know. You might need a blade. You might need to start fire. Um, you might get lost. The compass comes in handy with that. So let's, let's check out. It even has a little... Uh, rule on the back here. You might need to measure something, right? Let's check out this thing and let's see what this thing has to offer. Alright, let's move it over to the side here. Ah, let's not forget the whistle. I believe this is the whistle. Alright, comes with a lanyard and a little whistle. Alright, let's go through this and see the importance of every little thing it, it, it has, okay? Number one, the whistle. A whistle could be very useful, guys. If you're lost in the woods someplace, you can blow your whistle, people can hear it, and they can come to your location and find you. Maybe you're working with um, a trained dog and you need a whistle. Maybe you're being attacked, you're a woman, and you can blow the whistle. I mean, if you scream and scream and scream, you might lose your voice, but you can blow this whistle, and it'll make a lot of noise, and people will uh, come to your rescue. It does come with a little ring here. I guess you tie this lanyard around. You hang it on your neck, which is cool. All right. Let's put this over to the side. Now the card itself is about the size of a library card, right? Not very big. But let's see what it has. Right here, like I said, there's a ruler. If you, want, if you have to do some quick measurements. Uh, now there's some indentations here. With your finger, you stick in with your fingerprints, right? You stick in with your fingers, and let me see how you get this out. There we go. All right. First thing is a blade. Now this is a nice blade. I assume it will go between your hands like that, and you've got a self-defense blade. Stabbing, slicing, right? Slicing, stabbing. Okay. Um. The blade also has serrated edges on it, so if you need to cut maybe pieces of meat or make some uh, kindling for fire, you can do so with this. This is cool. It also has a um, little can opener here, or what might even can be used as a fish hook, if you think about it, right? Tie some bait on here, tie your line on it, maybe you catch yourself something to eat. Okay, I think it's more of a can opener, but maybe, you never know. It might be, can be used for a fish hook. But this is cool. A nice little blade, right? It's concealable. When somebody thinks they got the best of you, they don't. All right? That's cool. I like that. Let's put this over to the side. Um, Next up, you get a uh, compass, which works, as you can see. And a magnifying glass, guys. Alright, the magnifying glass can be used 
to uh, start fire. Let's see if I can see those words in there. Yeah, I can see them. They blow them up pretty good. Start fire. Or let's say you're surviving and you break into, uh, I don't know, a pharmacy or Rite Aid or something, and you need some medication. Shit is at the fan, everybody's going crazy, and you need something, some painkiller or something. Uh, you take this, you read the little labels, you make sure you don't pick up the wrong thing. Magnifying glass is always good to have. I carry a larger one in my other bag. Um, it's always nice to have another one. Okay. Let's see what this is. Press in. Pull out. Okay. We've got another bottle opener here. With a um, screwdriver attachment for Phillips and a flathead. Alright, so that's cool. So this is definitely the bottle opener. So I guess you could use the knife for fishing, right? Or spearing something, right? Okay. Maybe spear fishing you use the knife for. But this is definitely a can opener, a bottle opener, right? Again, out there surviving, you find cans of stuff, um, abandoned stores and whatnot, you get cans of corn, cans of whatever. You can open it with this, spin it, open it, and eat the corn and drink the water from inside the can if it's not expired. Okay, put this over to the side. What else do we get in here? All right, here's another end. Ah, a fire, a flint for fire starting. Now. So it's good to have another way to make fire, guys. Um, you should have limit, limitless ways to make fire in your bag or in your person. Fire is what's going to save your butt. You can cook your food with it. You can um, heat yourself with it. You can sanitize water, sterilize water with it. Um, everything. Um, warm water to, to wash your body off. Fight off infection and germs and things like that. Now... Let's see if this fire starter starts with this knife. It should. This is a stainless steel blade, I believe. Let's see what we got here. Let's see if we can get any sparks. Am I doing this right? No, apparently I'm not. There we go, got one. Okay, now I'm doing it right. There we go, all right. Another one. And another one. All right, so what you have to do is you have to take this end of the blade with the serrated edges and you strike it here. Now I believe what you have to do first is you have to clean off some of this black Guys, there's a black coating on here so you can get down to the flint part of it. Once you do that, let me see if I'm right. Clean it off. There we go. Right. You got to clean that off. Another way to make fire with the cool little blade it comes in. I like that. Let's put this over to the side. Um, what else do we got here? There's something here. Ah, oh, sharpener for the knife. Even comes with its own little knife sharpener, a little file there. All right, so I guess you can sharpen up this blade. Yeah. Just rub it across and sharpen the blade. And that's cool, I like that. A nice little knife sharpener. All right. Uh, this little thing has a lot of little options. It doesn't look like much, but it has a lot. Okay. There's something else in here. Hmm. Let me see. Can't seem to get it open. Let's use the knife. Is, is there a lever there or something? There we go. All right, a little tweezers. It's good to have a tweezers. You get a splinter, a piece of glass, 
a little piece of metal embedded in your skin. Boil these tweezers, sterilize them, take the item out, uh, clean your, 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 your hand off or wherever you got the splinter or where you got the foreign object embedded. And that just might save your life from a, a bad infection, a nasty bad infection. It's good to have tweezers, guys. Right? Just think about it. You're out there sawing wood or whatever. You get a splinter and it's bothering you. You can't get it out. You can't see it. Use your magnifier and your tweezer and pull the splinter out. Okay, let's put this to the side. Anything else in here? Let me get the knife and check it out. Okay, what's this? A toothpick. All right. Toothpicks are, is good to have, right? How often have we eaten something and it's got stuck in our teeth and it's irritated us and we wish we had a toothpick, right? I mean, if you're out there and you're killing squirrel or whatever, or any little varmint to survive to eat, a toothpick would be nice to have. You know, I don't know how tough the meat is or whatever it is, but a toothpick is definitely nice to have, guys. One less thing you have to worry about. Uh, anything else? I think that's... I think that's pretty much it, guys. All right, so let's check out what we've got. We've got a compass, right? A working compass. A magnifying glass. Put that down. Compass help you get home. Magnifying glass to help you see. Your instruction booklet for everything it has. We get a knife blade with a hook on the end. So you can make this out of a spear. Maybe you can spear fish with this. Um, it has a serrated edge. It's also the blade to use as a fire starter, and it has a little wrench holes inside of it. All right. What else have we got? We got our flint to start fire that you use with the knife. Our can opener, which has our Phillips blade and our regular blade. For opening up screws, you know, just like this, turning it or putting in a Phillips and turn it. Okay. All right, can opener, flint, screwdriver, knife blade, toothpick. Got to get that stuff out of our teeth, right? You know how annoying that could be. Tweezers. Got to remove those splinters. Don't want a nasty infection. And a whistle with a lanyard. Signal, signaling, contacting, um, just making you, making other people aware of your presence. It might be a blackout, pitch back in the dark, you're blowing a whistle, you're lost. Somebody will come find you. Okay? This, I think, is a nice little thing to have. If you don't have a survival bag, you don't carry one every day, at least carry something like this. You can make fire. You can open up a can. You can defend yourself. You can hunt for food. Um, you can see. You can you can make noise. You can have something like this. So in this little this little compact card here, guys, not much bigger than a credit card. You get one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven things, and actually, it's more than seven things because you get a wrench in this, and you can make so that's eight a spear with the hooks to go spear fishing if you want. That's nine, um, and two different type of can openers. So that's ten. That's eleven. It's eleven different items. All right. I really, really want to thank you, Juan. Juan L. I appreciate this. Um, and I keep saying, get involved with the channels. It gives me content. Um, you never know what could happen. Your plane goes down. This is in your back pocket. You've got something to survive. Even if you don't have your survival bag. Uh, your your car rolls off the road, but you're okay. You can get out of it. You're, you're down in a, in, in a ditch somewhere, and you got to walk. Who knows how far you got to walk? 
You might get tired. You might have to hunt. You might have to scavenge. You might have to do anything. You don't have your bag, but you got this little thing in your back pocket. You've got something. The thing is not to panic and make the best of what you have in a bad situation. And you'll pull through. So again, I'd like to thank you, Juan, for sending me this. And I'm going to carry this in my everyday bag. Um, bad take with me every day. <laughs> so I'll always have it. Just another item to add to my arsenal for survival. This has been your buddy RV guy. Until next time. Peace.